guys, it's Lynn, and today we are talking about our top five favorite drugstore lipsticks. First thing I want to let you guys know is that this is another collab um, organized by the lovely Connie B. If you haven't checked her channel out, I will have it linked below along with all of the other ladies participating with us. I think, and this is kind of cool to me, that we have some more and different channels participating, so I am so excited and eager to see what everybody else picked. I know that um, I had at first had some trouble um, picking out which uh, particular lipstick lines I was going to go with from the drugstore, but once I really thought about it and started looking through my collection, it became pretty obvious what I liked the best. So um, I will try and organize these from least favorite to most favorite. I mean, they're all my most favorites, to be honest with you. But um, it's going to be even rougher than the eyeshadow palettes video was. If you haven't seen my top five uh, drugstore eyeshadow palettes, I do hope you'll check it out um, after this one. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Do about it's from e.l.f. and it is called Hot Commodity. If you are looking for just a quirly peach, something different, then I highly, highly recommend you give this guy a try. Um, I am more talking about the formula than the color here, although I do love the color. This is one of my favorites. Um, from their matte uh, lip color line, but I just love these matte lipsticks. They're not liquid or anything like that. They are just, oh, I'd say there's a little sheen to them. Maybe they're not flat matte, but they are pretty long wearing for just regular lipstick. I mean, they're not lipstick, <laughs> liquid lipstick level. Say that three times fast. But they do last for a long time. They are super moisturizing. They don't feel like crap on your lips. They actually feel really good. And one cool thing they have in here is they have a little um, sharpener. So if your lip, if it gets a little too dull, you can sharpen it. So isn't that adorable? <laughs> um, so let me put it back together real quick. And so my number five is the e.l.f. matte lip color line. And I really, really think Hot Commodity is a great shade for spring and summer. My number four pick is just from CoverGirl, and I think it is just from their regular line of lipsticks. Um, it does show up kind of a velvety finish. It's not glossy. This is called Sultry Sienna, and I just recently hauled it. I have a huge drugstore haul that you can totally check out, but it looks like this, and you can see that it is just a beautiful, warm nude. And for people like me who kind of look funky in the straight brown lipstick, this is the perfect color. Now, I love, I love this lipstick formula. It is not long-lasting, but it is super, feels super creamy and good on the lips, especially after all the matte liquid lip trend going on. Um, but I have not tried any other colors from this line, so I can't recommend the whole line. Although, if they're anything like this, just run out and buy them all. They're amazing. Next lipstick I want to recommend is also from e.l.f. and it is the Moisturizing Lipstick line. Not the mineral lipstick, the Moisturizing. It is the Black Studio line. This one is in Berry Kiss, but... Okay, this one is in Berry Kiss, but it is actually closer to kind of a Your Lips But Better Nude. Um, kind of a mauve color. It is really, really pretty. I like all of them, though. I don't um, have a favorite of these. I love... Every one of them I've tried I love. <laughs> we'll just put it, we'll just end it that way. My number two favorite comes from ColourPop, and yes, I know you can't go to the drugstore and buy this. However, it is definitely drugstore price. These are $5, I believe, which is right in line with all of the other lippies I've shown you. This particular shade is I Heart This or I Love This, um, and it just comes up like this. It's a really thin, really nice pointed lippy really really easy to work with amazingly pigmented just absolutely gorgeous i mean what can't ask for any better than that i'm just i'm blown away honestly <laughs> so so these are five dollars the lip liners are also amazing in this line you can honestly just about get the lip liner and skip the lipstick altogether because it is so creamy so amazingly easy to use. They have all different kinds of finishes, but I think most of them are kind of satin to matte-ish. But um, I have several of these. This is my favorite. It is just the perfect everyday pinky whatever. I don't even know, but it's gorgeous, and I highly recommend it. 
Alright, drum roll please, and now to our number one favorite. This is a new addition to my collection. It is the Maybelline, um, their matte lip color, and this is in Lust for Blush, and this is a YouTube made me buy it moment for sure. I am wearing it today, but I'm going to swatch it for you as well, right up here on my knuckles, because I'm running out of room, because I didn't plan this well, <laughs> but it is just the perfect, whoa, go back in, no, no, no. But it is just the perfect cool tone mob. It is so beautiful. I just love it. So you can kind of tell I have a definite color palette here with the exception of hot commodity, can't you? Wow, I never noticed that before. Ah, I need to get some different things in my collection. But anyway, those are my preferences. Those are my favorites. I'm not gonna lie or try and mislead you. Those are my absolute most favorite lipsticks pretty much on earth. And they're from the drugstore and they're like, you know, four to six dollars each. So how can you beat that? So please take a moment to check out all of the other ladies in the collab. Please subscribe to see more videos like this. If you'd like to see a certain top five list, I would be more than happy to do it for you. Um, assuming I have five things in that range that I actually like. So go ahead and leave that below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.